Hey guys, and Merry Christmas! Welcome to another Magenta's Tech Tales with me, Magenta Lion. Today we'll be looking at the Precision Gaming Accessories 4-in-1 Gaming Pack. Let's get to it! Okay guys, we're looking today at the Precision 4-in-1 Gaming Set. Why are we looking at this? Because it's a gaming set for less than $100. Why so cheap, you ask? It's the season to be giving. And as such, we gotta know if you're giving the right thing. Is it worth giving to your grandkids, your kids, your niece, your nephew? The little crap ahead across the road throws oranges at me and I want to appease? I don't know. But let's find out. Okay, look at this box. It is packaged well. Doesn't seem to have a lot of spaces where it goes. Like, not. Yeah, I reckon this could survive shipment with Ace Ventura, pet detective. Let's have a look at it. I have a scalpel. Scalpel! <laughs> and we make one incision and two incisions. Then we carefully peel back the skin. You put it back because I will most likely cut myself. Okie dokie. Oh, it has multiple layers. Not bad for less than 100 bucks. You know? Oh. Well, it is not as well packaged as I thought. <laughs> Can you see that? Right. Let's tip on outside. What do we got? First things first is the keyboard. USB, chunky. It, it, it seems to be some sort of beveled end. That's a nice thing. Pop that there. Ooh. It's not mechanical, but it does feel quite stiff. Oh. It's got little holes in it, so all the crap that you usually drop in the keyboard, you know, when you're eating the movies and you're like, hum, nom, 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 and the chips go between the keyboard. Well, it's got holes there, so you can shake it out. They thought of everything. Got little flippy uppy arms. I like the flippy uppy arms. When they work. Flippy, flippy, flap. Hmm. There is a button that says 80% on it. Why do you require 80% keyboard? Tell me your secrets. Right, let's get some RGB going with our fancy Legion laptop. Just open this up. You guys don't need to see the screensaver. It's very related. Gonna plug in the little keyboard. Oh, look. It's shiny and RGB. But. I feel like it's just like a wave, it's not individually addressable keys of RGB and the keys themselves do not appear to be backlit. So it's just around the area of the keys. So good luck seeing that in the dark. And then we'll have a look at that in a bit. Okay. It's a floppy. Oops. We got a floppy mouse pad. Ooh, I get to use a scalpel again. Scalpel! Slice. Ever so delicately slice it open. Like, you gotta be delicate, otherwise, like, you know. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, it's got a little. Well, that's good. It's not cabled directly to it, which is nifty. You are going to run out of USB places with this, I'm thinking. The cables that it comes with are not bad. They're like nicely woven bound stuff. Like, I don't know the words for it, but it's not some crummy like plastic one that you get from servos and kind of breaks after a month.
Ooh. <gasps> it flashes. Flashy. Blue. Green. Purple. I like purple. Enchant is my name. Blue again. Yellow. Light purple. Pink. Hmm. Ooh. Instructions. Ooh. For the thing. Very nice. Put that there. Okay, what else we got? We got a mouse. Ooh. Damn. That is a solid feeling mouse. Solid mousey. Some over here, I bet. USB. Ah, yes. We got a DPI button. That's nifty. DPI button. And finally, the pistol resistance. A wow, that's interesting. You have either a USB microphone, and I'm assuming that's a microphone jack, headphone microphone. And, um, I'm thoroughly impressed with what a hundred bucks of gaming gear gets. This cable reminds me of the latex that you see on. Dog toys. It's an interesting latex cable. Okay, so this one goes in your butt, and this one goes in your mouth, and this one goes in your... No, wait. I think it's that way. That's a quote from Idiocracy. You should go watch it. It's a funny movie. Okay, who doesn't need a cable? Okay, let's plug you in. Am I all RGB now? It's interesting. Um, I think it's purely red, though. I don't believe this thing changes color. This is me with a microphone on. <laughs> it's not bad. Especially this weird latex cable. Okay, so the audio you're hearing right now is the same audio that I'm getting back through the headset. It is daunting hearing my voice. Like every time I edit a video, I'm like, oh, that's right, I sound like that. Eek. But yeah, it's a bit tingy, picks up a lot, but at the same time, it comes through quite clear. I'm sure it's going to sound different over a Discord call or whatever you happen to be using this headset for, but all in all, like, if you need to deck out, you know, an office with some unicorn vomit stuff for a hundred bucks, or give your kids some presents for Christmas because they have laptops and they're complaining that they can't, uh, Fortnite properly on it, why not get them this? It's not bad. Yeah. <sighs> Every time I breathe, it sounds like, you know, when you're stuck on a hillside and you get that wind coming through and you're like oh my god there's that wind because you're like Whoa. I don't know Rah. now I can do the Mariah Carey Christmas time is what's the Mariah Carey song that always goes in Christmas so that's the background noise that it will pick up as well gotcha okay so just using a mouse over this mouse pad Works pretty well. I'm actually bringing up some bass boosted songs to uh, check this out. Because look, bass is for life. Without good bass, you ain't got good life. Okay, so I'm listening to it. The bass is a bit flat, treble's a bit tinny, but all the same, comfortable, adjustable, and yeah. It's exactly what you'd expect for a hundred bucks. Oh, I think this is pulsing in time with the beat of the music. No, oh, it did slow down. Let's see when the beat picks up. Wait for the beat to drop. Wait for it to drop. Nah, I think it's just on some sort of timer. I would have been very impressed if this was some sort of, you know, reactive software towards the speaker system. Does it have some built-in software? Nope. These are interesting. I do like the fact that it's got the fold up mic. No, it doesn't fold up, it just bends around. So if you want to mute it, you're gonna to have to hit the keyboard, otherwise people are gonna pick up those weird conversations. Yeah, look. It's not bad. So the precision gaming accessories for all up less than 100 AUD provides a suitable start for budget gaming. 
if you're looking at getting this for your loved ones I can't find much to disagree with I can't say it will last very long but at the same time it does give that gaming feel and vibe to it which for the most part is what a lot of people are looking for the headphones but I can't say the quality is that good same if you're looking at this for yourself it's a snazzy little kit you know something cheap to just grab and do on the run and over time you can look at upgrading it it's not too bad I personally would you know if I, if I wanted to start with a budget rig I would get this the wired mouse doesn't feel like it would break straight away same with the braided corded mouse pad yeah I, d I can't really fault it you know it is a budget gaming rig but at the same time the responsiveness is exactly what you would want to see this budget review of a gaming accessories this thing is less than 100 bucks if you're on a budget you're you're looking at getting a present for someone that's starting out for gaming they don't have a lot of money or you just want to get all the stuff in one go and then slowly upgrade over time this is a great starting point now i'll be doing a couple of these over the next few days and we'll be comparing so this one was our most expensive out of the budget range at hundred dollars the next one will be a 59 dollar set thank you for watching and tune in next time bye guys